Ah. Uh, ah, yes! Get us in there! Now the I feel the pizzazz! Incredibly subtle noises of good pud. Feel are back. the pud. Yes. Get the pud. You need the pud. Welcome to the good pudcast, where the puds are hot, but the topics are even hotter. And the co host, pretty hot as well. <laughs> My name's Henry Zabrowski. And my name is Jackie Zabrowski. And we are the entertainment sibling duo that are rocketing their way to the top Woo. of Siblings International's chart Woo. of the power couples of brother, sister, Hollywood icons in Hollywood. Now, Don't you ever forget it. You know what's really distracting? Having these things in front of your face. You chose this. Well, I might have chosen it. You chose this. We shopped for each other's outfits. We went shopping together. Now, the goal of the podcast is to expand our brand in a way that we never thought of before. Yeah. With podcasts. We're going to get to greater heights than we ever deemed possible. And we we want to connect again with the youth because uh, our agent... This ain't Texas! Woo! What? I'm being Beyonce. I'm, it's my Cowboy Carter era. Oh, wow. I should have known you were being Beyonce. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Well, just so you, for those of you that aren't watching this, uh, just know that Jackie and I are trying to kind of like connect with the youth. That's why we're getting back into podcasting mm -hmm. because the youth loves podcasting and they love especially long deep dives into historical topics. We're going to talk a lot about cancel culture. Oh, We're going to yeah. talk a lot about climate change. Now, because pull it apart. What we wanted to do here is what I've seen a lot of podcasts do in the Rogan universing mm -hmm. of all podcasts, which is like, again, we're just scrambling to keep up with that genius, is that we want to embrace hard topics that we're kind of afraid to do in our normal good pud broadcast. Because and you think about it, good, good put, that's frenetic. This is us, like subtle. this is being real. This is real. All right. Now, if you could, if you, for those of you that can't see me, just know that like, I was trying to dress in a young fashion in order to kind of connect more with the youth mentality. For and those of you that can't see Henry right now, his sweatshirt does say, Foos gone Go wild. wild. Foos get wild. Yeah. Foos get wild. But I thought I would look more like Justin Bieber, but I look a little bit more like a Walter potato. White. I look oh. like a potato. Yeah, you look with glasses on. Yeah, but it's like, but rather than just do like I a look regular... like the Unabomber? I kind of look like a guy who is. Um, I am a sex offender at a gun range. No, maybe outside of a gun range because they wouldn't let you in. I can, I can wait. Yeah, I can wait to I'm get like, yeah, my gun. You can keep waiting. Maybe you should wait forever. I can wait to get my gun. I, did is part of you being more youthful? Is is that cinching the hood the way that you've cinched it, as if you were a baby being swaddled? No, I'm just easy gone. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah, I'm easy going. You kind of look like uh, Ralphie in A Christmas Story, and it kind of makes me want to knock you over. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Uh, one thing we also want to announce, you might have heard some planes go by. Uh, so today's episode of Good Pud is to talk about one of the truly hottest topics out there right now. Oh, baby. It's climate change. Now, we know that uh, the private jet industry is one of the most harmful industries when it comes to the planet earth and it's why it's scary for us to be a part of the industry well it's only scary for me in terms i'm just scared of the poor rising up whoa i'm afraid I do of get, the, i understand i'm afraid of the poor rising up and coming to the where our jets are so you're scared of the airport because the jets one thing that you guys don't understand is how scary it is for the jets to be up there alone and they're alone sitting on the tarmacs and they're they're really say, oh wow oh well, another Diddy copter. Woo. Diddy's copters just keep going in and out. What's going on with him? He should probably get really far away from here, I would imagine. I don't know. He seems to be he is busy. But he I, is busy. And there's a U-Haul of a bunch of teenagers that come and keep keep in, coming in and out of here. And I said that U-Haul should be electric. If we're going to be doing this, I feel like a lot of like if we want to maybe this might be a bit of a touchy subject, but if we want to maybe help. The climate a little bit. Maybe okay. some of the human traffickers can use electric vehicles when you're driving women back and forth across the border. You know, I like that you like you're attacking the problem. I'm and not. I think a, yeah, that that I, is I problems beautiful. need to be attacked. You now, know, I, I I do think that maybe climate change probably has got a couple bigger issues going on. Oh look, they're filling up a hot air balloon. Oh man, it's Reese Witherspoon. Oh, 
Yeah, hi, hi Reese. Reese. Sweet Home Alabama is my least favorite movie. Always, yeah, I said it. Always keep her in check. Yeah, baby. Always keep her in check. Enjoy and, that PJ, though, baby. You know, it, we are, again, our PJ isn't here right now. Our PJ is with its, how do we put it? Grandmother? Yeah. Our PJ is out of town right now. Yeah. Well, sometimes and we so, like to take our PJ to the airport so we can see how the other, other planes, planes live. live. And we want to make sure that our plane knows it's got a pretty good gig. Yeah. Except for the fact that. Because you're lighter now. Yeah, thank you. Because how much weight you It lost. doesn't like, I don't think, all of the pudding that we spill inside of it. Well. But how else are we supposed to experiment with our puds? I actually, I mean, part of my big. You know, I mean, like, I'll, I guess I can admit it. Like, obviously, the PJs for work, uh, and partially the reason why we have it is because we want to see the changes in pudding at high altitudes, and how it affects our tummies and our butts. And also, international puds. You think that we we're just going to stick to American puds? Also, how am I supposed to fix climate change if I can't get to places where there's lots of trash fast? You're right. That's what the private jet is for. So if I find out that there is a water bottle. That's being left out in the Sahara. We go. We go. I and call we up go, John yes. Travolta, right? And, and he's then, busy getting. Well, the thing is about John Travolta is if you want him to fly your plane well, you get a you're gonna sexy have to get, pilot. He needs to be milked first. Yeah. And that's just a hot tip. Now, speaking of hot, part of the reason why we're doing Pudkist with these hot topics, we have hot pudding as well. Now, if you, you didn't think, think, oh, that's soup, right? Nay. Nay. No, 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 no. We're going to do no, no. Not physically warm. No. No, because they're actually cold to the touch. But this is, we have right here a case, because again, connected to the youth, love hot ones, love flaming Hot Cheetos. Did you see Goop on there? Made her actually, she actually ate the chicken wings. Oh, she's just such a... She f- ate the chicken wings. I know. What a, what a human she is. She Whoa. has to eat sometimes. Wow, she ate a chicken wing. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, like a couple of bites. Who is she? P- Paul Blart? I know. Wow. Yeah. She. We put her back in the mall. Put her back said, in the mall. We said, get to Coppin, bitch. It's a bit harsh. We did. One thing I will also say. It's the hat. The climate change, I know it's bad, but you know what's not bad? My thing, it's like change in general isn't bad. So why are we so afraid of it? Well, I I we need to embrace say, change. No, it makes my purses heavy. Oh, that's a coins joke. <gasps> I actually was <gasps> utterly lost <laughs> about the uh, concept. Of- well, I guess you better get milking then with your udders. <laughs> oh, a lot of their hot air balloons getting filled. Bye, oh my Reese. god, Reese, what are you doing? She needs two, she one for each breast. Apparently, she just let one go with no rider. I mean, that is what we're here to be talking about. I think hot air balloons actually are good for the environment, are except they? when they get caught and they kill a bunch of birds. Are they methane? I'm not even gonna look it up. I know methane's bad for the climate, and I know that's what the cows make. But now, what we're gonna do here, they're farts, we all do. Actually, methane, not is, me, a, methane is a chemical sign of life. You know that when we go and check out exoplanets, don't you fucking be bored by real information. Don't you be bored by an actual piece of real information is that exoplanets, the way we could tell whether, whether or not they harbor life is whether or not their chemical signatures read that there is methane coming off of it. Actual urgent warning over Antarctic super vortex that could affect fate of humanity. Let's what get, about the super vortex? Let's get in the pudding. Now, what we're going to try here is our producer, Sam Wirtz, we tasked her to make a spicy pudding that would show you, number one, like what you guys like, which it seems to be watching people struggle with heat. Uh, and we, we want to give that to there's you. There's no way we are going to struggle. And I will say there's no way I have acid issues and that this is not going to ruin me for the rest of the week. I ate a Pepsid. And I should have eaten a Pepsi. I ate breakfast. All right, yeah, I'm juicing right now. I'm Lance Armstrong. I got one ball. I'm fucking aerodynamic, and I'm ready to do but this. But doesn't your taint hurt? What? From the bicycle. That was an allegory. Oh. I'm just eating pudding. Oh, okay. So Sam Wirtz, our producer, made an incredible 
mishmash here because we want to ask, like, what's a pudding that would represent climate change in a way? We did have an in, actual meeting about this. We did. Like, we wanted it because we want to embrace this issue and we want to talk about how we're going to fix this issue, like how I use my PJ to go pick up various bits of garbage that I see from the sky. Yes. Um, and I take it to go cheer on Greta Thunberg. I go Which to take it. I cheer on outside of her home. Yeah. I'm outside of her home going, Greta, where are you? Greta, Greta, Stalker, Greta, come out. Stalker's Greta, Greta, but, uh, Greta we got to go fight the ocean. I think Greta! she's a child. I think she's like 30 now or something. Oh, okay. It's fine. The countdown. I saw someone did an eight to 18 countdown. For oh. Me. So let's go to Remember this. that website for yes. those Olsen twins? Yes. Yes, I do. Now, let's crack into this put. Oh, so good. I'm we not asked trying ourselves, to avoid it. So we asked ourselves, what is a pudding that best represents climate change? And we realized that, well, what's the industry that most affects the planet Earth, right? And yeah, some people say it's uranium mining. But actually, the big thing is beef. It's meat. It's cows. I don't know. I've just seen this written down. So I don't I really watched know. I the documentary once. What do they? What do the cows do? Do they pollute? They make farts. Is it just because the cows pollute, or the cows also driving Hummers? They're also like getting rid of all the trees to Eat make way for chicken. the cows. Eat more chicken. Yeah, what? Well, uh, uh, that's what the chickens say. All right, so what and they also say. Baka! Baka! She doesn't want to eat the pudding. But we're about to. Well, because Sam explained it to me when I went to go pick up the pud. Um, Sam explained it to me that it is more of a parfait of sorts. Yes. And so what we said, all right, so what's the best representative of beef? And to us, it is meatloaf. Meatloaf, obviously. So what this is, is a spicy meatloaf pudding. With layers of glazed ketchup. Ooh. Actually sounds good. I will say it does smell like a cab driver's pants. Also, it is beautiful because Sam, like, if you could did see this. the spider web like glaze of ketchup on how the top of it. How beautiful. She just does such an amazing. Wow. Let's talk about how beautiful it is. The sheen. No, of the we pudding. have to eat it. Oh, goodness. So we put it down all... in the middle. And so, so now what it's... she said is to dig so that you get the layers. So there's a way to eat it so we won't throw up. I think she said. Well, this is hot, spicy meatloaf pudding. In the name of climate change, and the reason why we're doing this, this brave is thing. Is to stop climate change. Is to stop it. Because today is the day, everybody. We're doing this for us. You stop it now. You yeah. stop it. You better not. And we're only going to fly the PJ oh my. once, once every, every week. week. That's our, our commitment. Wow. That's our commitment to you. All right, wow. so you ready? You want to try also, this? And also, I won't use hairspray anymore. Wow. Doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> now, from the cloud I saw earlier. Do you want to feed me? No. Let's do it. We're going to do this together. Is... Wow. That Ooh. is a surprising color. That is. You know what's surprising about it is that I did not expect it to be this light. No. Um, it is a surprising color. Oh, let me take a little less. Yeah, why don't you take a little I'm gonna less? I'm going to start with the Oh, wait. Less. Did you get some of the glaze? I did. Look, you can see that, gla that line of glaze in there. Here okay. So this right. is hot, spicy meatball pudding, meatloaf pudding, meatloaf pudding. Why don't you go first, Shaggy? There's no reason. Hallelujah. I mean, remember it's a still, it's still a podcast, so they have Hallelujah. to hear more. They have to hear more than normal. It's okay. not just looking. All right, all right everybody. All right, so Jackie, if you can right, let me get my mouth up on there. Oh if God, it smells. No, don't put it too close to the microphone. Don't put it too close to the microphone. All right. Hmm. All right, so she's fine. All right, let me take a little bite of it as well. Okay. Oh, no. That's weird. Oh, no. That is a... Okay. It wasn't as bad up top, but the... Oh, oh, it lingers. That's extremely... Do you have to let it linger? Do you have to... extremely weird. Do you have to... Man, it coded. Yes. Oh, wow. Go, that go, is go, Look up some jacket. headlines. Look at some headlines. That is a jacket on my mouth. Climate right, change conspiracy now. theory about cataclysmic changes in Earth's magnetic field goes viral on TikTok. I don't know what we're going to do about it. What are we going to do about it? We have to talk to Joe. And yeah, I mean Joe Rogan. I, uh, Maybe uh, that's what we have to get into for the use. Why are you eating another spoonful? Because that's the show. 
And actually, these are not as spicy as I thought it was going to be. No, it's not as spicy as I feared that it was going to be. I think it's because she took pity on you. I actually think that when we do these more, they need to be amped up. You think that we need to be More in pain because it, technically that's what they want. That's all they care about I is our pain. I will say that you know what it is? It is the cons- think of eating meatloaf if it were the consistency of the special sauce on a Big Mac. You know when you smell a dump, but you don't know that it's not supposed to smell bad, but it kind of smells good? Yeah, that's, that's what, what this, this is. is. It makes me, we, we, I remember having an experience with Ed and Holden, and they were. Oh, no, we've, t- we've already bathroom. talked about this multiple times. Yes, but I haven't talked about it in this venue. Because those dumps, they smelled like barbecue. Yeah. I'm gross. Should I take another bite? Yes. All right. Let's look up some more headlines. If you could struggle while you're going through some of these headlines, so we can look the headlines. So good, you know articles. I don't want to know actual. I don't want to know how we actually do this. Big oil is behind conspiracy to deceive public. First climate racketeering lawsuit says it's the first one. Puds up. Put your puds up. I say, big oil, come and get me. I got something you can drill. You want to be fucked by a bunch of oil executives? Uh, uh, the second one was worse. You know, I feel weirdly. The second one was wait. This Henry, this is getting worse with every bite. I don't mind it. Oh, the burp. Oh, the burp. I don't mind it. Really? I actually don't mind it. But it's really like it's. I'm like I feel like I have to go scrape my mouth out. Oh yeah, no, I feel like my my tongue is oh. wrapped up in a sheet. Oh wow, you almost threw up. I almost threw up. Wow. Um, Does it because you're so upset about big oil? It's because I was thinking about a big oil tycoon just like ramming down on me. And the thing is, Henry, you told me first time I'm allowed to marry for love. I've done it. Next time I have to marry for, for money. Money. You money must. and clout. And you I, must. I, if big oil is coming in, they're starting these racketeering lawsuits. I say, God bless it. Let me in. Let me be a part of their team because you know. then I'll be in the law. In the law playground, going, yes, my big old, oh, man. Look at how I'm dressed. You are honestly dressed like, you are dressed like an oil man's mistress. Yeah. Uh, oh, but the fun mistress, because, like, he likes her because she drinks 25 cent, but Yeah, lots. and she takes the kids. Yeah. She'll take the kids well, but out. But I also have a bunch of kids myself. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you're a single mother. I, um, it is coming back on me. The pudding. I actually, my body's rejecting the pudding. This is very surprisingly much rougher than I originally thought when I put it in my mouth. It's kind of like my body just realized what a yeah, and it's trying to push it out of me. It's greasy, Um, slick. Wait, again, Sam's a genius and does a really good job. This tastes like meatloaf. It tastes like liquefied meatloaf. So, but you know what? Actually, if you really wanted to change climate, this is what I'm saying. Number one, get rid of clouds. Can we go up there Honestly, and use planes to break up clouds? I don't know why we're not doing that. And that then, is a pretty good idea. Why can't we drag the clouds we need from one part of the sky over to where we need the rain? Okay, I'm into that. And also, big bags. You know, we th- can't big yes. bags. Can't you fill rain clouds in big bags Squirt and them drive on the them over? Done. They are starting to make weather. They're starting to make weather happen. They're like shooting their juices up into the clouds to make their seeds sprinkle down. I mean, I make it rain every week at the Gelsons. Yeah! Squirt, 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 They know I'm coming. They know I want a special Branzino order. Yes! Now, I guess the real big problem here is like, what do we do? I'm kind of into the fact that Halloween, it's warmer now for I know, and I love that it rains in L.A., but we have to... Because we have to speak to other people, we have to be against it. That was foul. The it's bad. That just came out. It is bad. In my mouth. You know what foul. I was thinking? That you could do, Jackie. What you really could do to help climate change is that I think that partially it's through you sucking the dick of an oil executive. I think that's the only way to do it because if like, you here's could the thing. get in People there. tell me stop buying fast fashion and I'm like, hello, this is slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Look Make at the how other stuff come back. Yeah, yeah. This like, is, there's no way. Like, this this was, is definitely slow fashion. Uh, uh, there's no, I she mean, definitely looks like it's it not is, made out of petroleum. It definitely <laughs> looks like it's made... <laughs> For a slow so fashion do, purchaser. It has nothing to do with my slow fashion purchases. Yeah, and that's yeah, look not at something you. that you look is like a slow fashionista. Soon. Yeah. And I go, Yeah, Jackie. Yeah, you're so slow. 
Now, the thing is that if you went in and talked to these oil executives, and I think that if you got one of these old men with his trousers down around his ankles and on top of his penny loafers, okay. and you know he's got the very long underwear on there, like the old school boxer shorts that are made out of shirt material. But I'm, I'm going to ask him to keep the underpants on, like, the, the, like in the, the Mormon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pull through the hole. But if you are sucking his dick in the middle of it, don't make him come unless he makes electric vehicles. Oh, I love that edge him till climate safety. Kledge, we're gonna, it's climate edging. I would do that for us. Wow, we're here, we're eating. The we methane. made it fucking, people said that they thought that nothing would come out of this and it would be a waste of time and energy. What, the podcast? Yes, everyone did. Everyone that I've ever met. They're screaming outside of the door right now. They're going, you shouldn't <clears throat> do it. Our agent, you shouldn't do it. Because our agent wants us to do it. <clears throat> But they also know that they... Foos have gone wild. Foos gone wild. You better watch out. I'm not fool. Uh, but our agent was very pro this because, again, we're, what, what they're all afraid of, and I think really the reason why people were trying to dissuade us from doing the podcast is how disruptive it was going to be and how hard it was going to be for everybody else to catch up and how if we change the industry... How I people, don't want that responsibility. I don't want the responsibility of being the new Rupert Murdoch of pudding-based podcast material. Although it would be kind of fun if we were like the brother-sister duo that like saved everyone in Greenland. You know what I mean? There is yes. no brother-sister duo those there. Very, but I think they very, were lacking Those it. special white people yeah. that were allowed to live during that movie yeah. were the best group of diabetic white people I've ever seen. Yes. And that's why that's why we're the ones we're the ones taking the bullet. You know, our pilot's gonna miss us. Think yeah. about that. That's actually kind of one of the things that no one talks about climate change is that these PJ pilots are gonna be really, really sad and they're gonna drink more and they're gonna crash domestic what flights. What about their jobs? I feel like we're not thinking about the PJ pilots and what about how the much flight attendants that pour champagne in the PJs? What about the on the breasts as well? There's specifically a breast champagne. Well, I mean, every PJ guy? has that, right? What about the guys doing the sushi? You think that that sushi chef yes yeah, has an immediate dolphin PJ? sushi as oh. well? Like it is. You don't understand. You don't even know. <laughs> That's of flavor. A dolphin? Flavor. You ever had dolphin? Woo! Slick, but not like this meatloaf pudding slick. I can't eat more of it. No, I can't even, like, jape around to eat more. It is unpleasant. <laughs> it is unpleasant. I love it, I though. guess I should. I... The joy that Sam has when she gives it to me and says, I think this one won't make you puke. And, you know, I looked her dead in the eyes and I said, maybe today, Sam. Maybe today. And that answer is, no. Nay. No. No, it's not today. That is bad. It's certainly bad. Off the charts mm. records has humanity finally broken the climate. And I say, if we were able to break it, like, isn't that kind of nice that we found an opportunity to go after every experience we could? You know who Humans broke? Humans were allowed. Yeah. We were able to, and so we did. You know who broke and then put herself back together? Britney Spears. Wow. Why doesn't the climate be more like Britney Spears and show us her nipples? Is she back together? What? I don't know if she's back together. She's doing great. I love her new stuff. Yeah, it's, well, she's certainly putting out content. Yeah, I love her stuff. I love her boobies. I like it when she's dancing with the knives, and I think that that's what the climate needs to do. I think the climate itself needs to set some boundaries with us. Right, but this, what do we, like, what about the fact that the oceans are dying? Are we, what do we do about that? Get a that? medicine. I see, this is what I'm saying, like, where are the doctors? Get a medicine. Get it out there. If, they, if it's so I sick. I don't know. Why is the sun so hot then? Get it a fucking jacket. Get it some ice. Man, it's like bring us into these meetings. They're not ready, Jackie, because we're seeing clearly because we are coming from the side. We're outsiders. We're renegades. We're mavericks. It's hard for them to know what it's like because they're so far on the inside. They think that's the only way they, they can change things is from the inside. We know the only ways to change things really is from the outside with a bazooka. True, and falling that down. That bazooka is you blowing an oil executive. Yeah. And telling well, him bazooka, you're going to- Yeah, it's like bazooka gum. Yes, and you're going to tell him, you're going to blackmail him. Obviously. Because what you're going to do is you're going to do a bunch of stuff in there. You're going to go in there. You're going to dress up like a Teletubby. You're going to finger your butthole. <laughs> yeah, and then you are going to tell everybody that this man made me do this. 
You're going to blackmail him. Blackmail all right? him. And then we're going to get climate change. Climate change, give me gun. We're gonna Something get tells gone. me that if he has enough money, that it's not really going to matter if I blackmail him, per se. Climate change, good change. Yeah, but at least I, I say be the change you want to see. Why are we blaming? Why are we coming at the climate for wanting to change? Because I feel like that's one of the the things is that we oh my judge. God, Henry. We judge people who change. You know, I mean, everyone judged Madonna when she became British. Everybody judged yeah. Rachel Dolezal when she righteously came out as a black woman. Yeah. And there's people that are also going to, why are you judging the climate for changing? changing. And then maybe it's bettering itself. Maybe it's, you don't know. Yeah. Maybe you don't like what it's doing, but maybe again, it's what I was saying before. Yeah. People don't like it when other people set boundaries. So maybe the climate change is good for it and it's not good for us. And we're just going to have to face those facts. And it, it, and it can't just be about us all the time. What about the fucking, what about the clams? Henry, you are being so brave right now. Like These guys I are, the clams like, are quiet quitting, but we why should we stop them? Yeah, you're right. Get They're quiet shucking. quitting. They're qu quiet quitting is the next biggest problem. I say dig them up. I say get them out of their holes. Clams? I don't know where the clams go. They go in a bake. Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they like. But, and I also, you're right. No one's asking the climate why it's changing. Well, and it's not about just why it's changing. Guess what? It's none of your fucking business. Whoa, Nunya. That's the climate's business. Maybe that's its business. It's Nunya. Yeah, and we're just sitting around here by like a bunch of Judge Judys telling the climate that it shouldn't get warmer, which is also, again, it's great. Being multi multi millionaires because of our syndicated television show. I wish. Do you oh, remember, Jackie? You have a, you have a great saying. I think you have a great saying about climate change that I think that would turn the whole thing around. So you, 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 what's your saying? I'm young and it's not my fault. Say 40's young now. I'm young and it's not my fault. Look at my hat. No idea what's you going on. You cannot blame. And you'll ever when they're not saying. Not to blame. They're saying it's our fault. You know what? I dare say maybe now more PJ use. Well, Jackie, I think that we have to have Gotta go some to the grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> oh, to oh, I got I to gotta go over to the, the, the Six Flags. <laughs> Just, dude, it's Magic Mountain here. But I think that really what, what it comes down to What if I landed on the roller coaster? <laughs> I mean, nothing would make everybody more impressed. <gasps> and also, they'd congratulate your PJ pilot. Yeah. I just think that what we've all learned here is it's really about minding our own business to let the climate do whatever the hell it's going to do. Because mm -hmm. the climate's going to do what it's going to do because it's a girl boss. Also, use your PJs to go and support Greta Thunberg right outside of her home. I'll give you her address. It's 12345 Sweden Street. You go down there. She's over in um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, somewhere fjords. else. Yeah. She's by a fjord. Yeah. I saw it. I saw yeah. the herring. Go right past the fjord. I think yeah. you hit like a walrus. Yep. Oh, if you hit that walrus, you've gone too far. You're going to want to make sure you're at the naked man jerking off with the fish on the bike. I love that. That's hunt. where, yeah, that's that's where you got to go. That's where Greta lives. In true Dutch fashion. Go down to Greta's house. She loves everybody who comes by. She's always got some chicken on. Support our girl. She's always got a nice hot cup of soup. Ready for anybody? <laughs> Rolls into town. Oh, that Greta Thunberg. Yeah. She got it. Ooh, that man. Her corn rolls. Woo! Cool. Man, oh no, man, no, Greta Thunberg. talking about a miner's corn rolls. She's like 40 now. She's 21? Yeah, she's 21 now. Where did now? the time go? Uh, in the past. Ooh. Well, climate change has been solved. This has been Hot Puds, You're Good welcome. Pudcast, the hotter puds, but even hotter, hotter conversations. Topics, yeah. And, and you'd be surprised what we're even going to get to get into. We're going to fix a lot of stuff, and there's going to be a lot of you that uh, are going to agree with what we say, and you're going to put us on a pedestal, and we're going to be on the cover of various magazines, and then eventually you look for a chance to destroy us, and then our, our glorious descent will also be just as romantic and as fabulous as our ascent. We are looking forward to every second of it. We can't wait, so we'll see you next week. Come back for some pud, why don't you? Have a good pud, everybody. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Banana pudding.